boys welcome back to another YouTube video how you guys doing today hope you have yourself a snazzy ass day um today I'm gonna be taking you guys through like basically just a full day of eating uh, I have a, a lot of people that just ask me what the hell do I eat in a day and I usually post on my snapchat or Instagram like the things that I actually eat in a day I'll just I'm one of those generic people that take uh that take pictures of the food that they eat and post it on Snapchat or Instagram. However, most of the food that I eat is made by me, my, by, by yours truly. But yeah, so I thought today I'd take you guys through a full day of eating. Uh, basically, uh, I guess a little, a little bit of a vlog as well. Uh, today's chest day. It's, it's the start of my workout week. I like starting every workout week with chest day. I like to do it with a nice heavy chest day. But I got a pre-workout right now. I got my pre-workout right now. Uh, right now I got Gorilla Mode's uh, Glycerol and just their regular pre-workout. I took, let me tell you, a heaping scoop this morning. And when I say a heap scoop this morning, <sighs> oh baby, let me tell you, that shit was a heap scoop. I did not feel like doing much today, so I heaped that <laughs> bad boy in. Um, I also have uh, three Gorilla Mind Smooth that I took right before I started filming this, and then Gorilla Mode's AR. Uh, for the El Carnitine effect, uh, and that's that's my pre-workout stack. So uh, I'm about to jump into a workout. Let me crush this pre-workout. Okay, so I am about to start my workout. Um, but I woke up today, and I guess I slept on my my shoulder wrong a little bit. So I'm, I usually don't warm up too much before I start working out anymore. Uh, I I should get back into the habit of warming up. But lately, I just haven't been warming up too much. Uh, I've been stretching just about every day uh, later in the night, so I've been feeling not really the need to, uh, to warm up. Uh, but like I said, uh, today I woke up and this shoulder just feels a little impinged. So I decided I might as well just warm up just a little bit. Uh, and, then, and then I'm going to jump right into, uh, into chest day.
I just finished the workout. Uh, I did. I, I was having fun posing today after the workout. I, I think I'm looking a little bigger than usual right now. So, I, I, I don't know how much of the, uh, the nonsensical posing I'm gonna include, uh, but, but I got, I got kind of goofy with it. So, <laughs> it's about 1:30 now. This is usually around the time I, I have my breakfast. So, I'm gonna go upstairs. I'm gonna start making some breakfast, and then I'll show you guys what I have. Well, alright boys, welcome to the cooking section of this video. Uh, this is my kitchen. I've cooked on, or I've, I've made food once before on this channel, uh, but this is, since this is a full, in-depth, like, food diary today, essentially, uh, I'm, based, I'm, gonna, I'm gonna break down just a little bit of how I cook. So I've had a bunch of people tell me that my cooking's really good, but my cooking is really, really simple. Uh, today on the menu is some steak. I don't usually weigh my food, but I'll, I'll weigh it so that I can put the macros on the screen. Uh, we're gonna have some pasta, and we got some uh, a spare, some Brussels sprouts cooked by my shop right that I just put on a pan and fry up. But yeah, let's let's jump into this. This is the first episode of Evan's Elegant Eats. As you can tell, I love alliteration. <laughs> so I forgot to mention in that last clip. Uh, make sure before you start cooking. You wash your hands, and if you have long hair like me, just put your hair up. Um, but essentially, for the steak, I always pat dry my steak with a towel, a paper towel, and then just throw the paper towel out. Uh, the steak is better when it's patted dry. And then seasoning-wise, I don't really use anything fancy. Uh, this lady from my mom's work gave us some, some salt that she made, uh, so I use that salt and I'll usually use a bit of pepper. I know that seemed like a lot of pepper that I was just putting on, but I promise you it wasn't that much pepper. It just, there's not that much pepper left in the, in the container. I gotta, I gotta refill our pepper container. Uh, and then while I'm doing this, I have the pot for the pasta boiling, or starting to heat up in the background behind me. That way, when I'm done doing this, I can just put my pre-measured pasta directly into the, uh, into the pot and that can start. That'll take about eight minutes. And then the steak takes about three to four minutes on each side. So once you finish that, I like heating up my pan now. Alrighty, so now uh, I got the pasta in the, uh, in the pot boiling already. Uh, this is about, that's about ready. Uh, so I'd say about three minutes each side for your steak, depending on how big your steak is. Um, and then you're gonna wanna put a little bit of butter on it. I use, I can't believe it's not butter. That way it has like very little calories. Uh, but butter really brings out uh, the flavor of the steak in my opinion, so I prefer to use that. Uh, don't worry if it's not gonna keep you super lean. That's why you use the I can't believe it's not butter butter. Uh, so you still have super low calories, so you can try and keep your abs in your bulk still. Alright, so when I flip the steak over, that's when I usually like to put the butter on on the one side. And then you're just going to start sort of basting it. Use the spoon to sort of spread it in a little bit. And then you're going to baste it with a little bit more butter. And it's okay, it doesn't matter how much you use, because right now boys, don't forget, we're bulking. It's bulking season, baby. And then once this has been cooking for a little bit, the steak, when you're about to flip it, that's when I like putting the uh, veggies in. Okay, so with my pasta, I like putting some, some more butter on it, adding, and then I'm a big fan of the smelly cheese, so I like to put the smelly cheese on my pasta too. Alright boys, so that's gonna be breakfast for the day. I know it's a little bit of a heavier breakfast, most people wouldn't have a steak and pasta and everything for breakfast, but uh, it's two in the afternoon. So, I like to fast for a good majority of the day. Um, 
and then I just have a really heavy lunch slash breakfast, I guess. Uh, Cause I also really just don't eat that much in the day. I usually only have about 2,500 calories and that's me bulking. So I can sort of afford to eat something <laughs> like this for breakfast. Um, but I'm gonna pop up the macros somewhere on the screen uh, so that you guys have the macros for this. But yeah, that's gonna be breakfast. I'm gonna eat this uh, and I'll come back for uh, lunch slash dinner whenever I, whenever I start cooking that. Uh, that'll be in probably like three, four hours. So I'll see you guys then. All right, real fast. Uh, I haven't, I haven't eaten yet, but I also forgot to mention uh, that I also got a a shake for afterwards with a little bit of protein powder in it. So uh, I only have one scoop of protein powder in there, uh, and I also put my creatine in there. But I thought since it's a full day of eating, I got to include that part. So yeah, there you go. There's that. <laughs> All right, boys, it's a couple hours later now. Uh, I got a protein bar, um, just to tide me over for about an hour and a half until it's dinner time. So, uh, calories on screen for this, I guess. Um, and I'll see you guys at dinner time. All right, so it's time for meal number two. I'm having chicken sandwiches with peppers and onions, uh, and I already have some sweet potatoes uh, in the air fryer, frying those up into sweet potato fries. Uh, I got the I got everything prepared already. Uh, I'm just gonna cook everything up and then show you what it looks like when it's done. Alright, so as you guys saw, I just made this chicken sandwich with uh, sweet potato fries. The macros are going to be up on screen right now. Um, super easy. I just have onions, red peppers, and some, I don't know, cayenne peppers. That's about it. It's my own little, like, Cajun chicken sandwich with fries. Alright, so I'm going to eat that. Uh, and then I guess I'll see you guys at my next meal whenever that is Alrighty, so it's a few hours later. It is time for me to have meal three. It's gonna be a real simple meal uh, It's gonna be eggs ham and toast pretty easy uh, But I'll show you guys when I'm done Alrighty, I just finished making meal number three, four, three, depending on if you consider the little snack in between meal one and two uh, a meal, then this is four then, I guess. Um, but as you guys saw, uh, I didn't really, or actually, I, as you guys didn't see, I didn't make the eggs on camera uh, because it's just scrambled eggs and toast with butter. Uh, everybody really knows how to make it. It's essentially just an egg sandwich, but with three pieces of toast uh, and deconstructed with butter on it all. When I say butter, it's the, I can't believe it's not butter, by the way, because, uh, you know, we got to stay anabolic. We got to stay nice and lean. Um, but yeah, so this is basically going to be my last big meal. Uh, I might have another another snack in the night. Um, but yeah, I'll... I'll I'll see, I guess. I don't know. <laughs> Alright, boys. So, it's the next day. Uh, I didn't end up eating anything else last night, so total calories will be... Or total calories for the day will pop up on the screen somewhere. Um, and, yeah, that's gonna that's gonna basically do it for the day. Uh, if you guys are watching this the day it went live, I'll be over on my... I'll be live over on my Twitch channel at... Laredo72500. Come on over, come hang out with me, come chill for a little bit. Subscribe, turn on the notification bell, smash the like button, you know, all the stuff for the YouTube algorithm. Drop a comment down below. Um, and that's about it. I'll see you guys in the next one. I hope you have yourself a snazzy ass rest of the day.
Peace.